How's it going everybody and welcome to my Arturo Vidal player review. So this is actually a video that I've been working on for quite some time and uh, I finally racked up all the clips that I really needed to make this video somewhat decent and I hope you guys do enjoy it. Basically on screen at the moment though you guys are actually seeing three stats that I found really impressive regarding Vidal and his player card. Uh, his standing tackle, sliding tackle and interceptions all above 88 overall and those are just center back stats. Really they truly are. However uh, I've been using him center midfield He's been able to provide offensively, defensively. He is the best box-to-box -box midfielder I've yet to use in FIFA 16. And if you guys do have the coins or if you have the chance, I definitely recommend you guys purchase him. So without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. So the clip you guys are currently seeing on screen is probably one of my better goals with the Dallas so far. It gets past a couple defenders, holds them off with his 75 strength, and he's going to pop this one in the back of the net. I wasn't too sure if he actually had the long shot uh, trait, however, when I checked foothead this morning, he actually did, which was absolutely brilliant. And along with that, his left foot, he has four star weak foot, which is, I mean, it's amazing for a center midfielder. And at the same time, three stats that really did impress me were his standing tackle, his sliding tackle, and his interceptions. Just because personally, I'm not the greatest at FIFA 16, I'm not the greatest at transitioning FIFA to FIFA. Nice pass from him right there though. As I was saying, I'm not the greatest FIFA player, and uh, for myself, someone like Vidal just holds the midfield down. Uh, he's just one of those players that can kind of produce on a counterattack, which is my playstyle. Uh, I might have to adjust a little bit just because it hasn't really been working out. However, he's basically been involved in all my team's goals, which is amazing. And uh, you guys can see Jesse Rodriguez with a nice rebound goal right there. His shots, I believe he has 84 long shots. However, as I said before, the trait is amazing. Uh, he has two traits. Uh, beside the long shot trait, he actually has a diving into tackle trait, which has come into play quite a bit, and especially with interceptions being crucial this year. Uh, I mean, it's helped me out so much. His specialties, tackler, tactician, you guys can tell by the three stats I discussed before. His work rates are amazing. Uh, I kind of had a problem in FIFA 15 with high, high work rate players. Uh, some didn't, some did, and uh, I myself found myself on the other end of that where I was just struggling with high, high work rate players. Di Maria wouldn't really produce for me. However, Ramirez, I had to put him on stay back while attacking and uh, I didn't have a problem. But with this player, I haven't really used instructions yet on any player and I would say Vidal, uh, he, nonetheless, he just doesn't need them. He's been perfect for me. His dribbling, 81 dribbling just came into play right here. And you would think, just by the looks of it, it's messy like dribbling. However, uh, 81 overall, I haven't had a problem with it yet. His passing is amazing as well right here. I've been holding R2 in this game quite a bit, which is the pace button uh, to sprint. And uh, a lot of people have been saying that, you know, it is a bit difficult to get the runs off. It's not FIFA 15, which is understandable. And uh, it is really difficult, as I said before, to hold R2 and actually dribble past defenders. But with Vidal, I seemingly, I just have no problem. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely worth the 70 to 80,000 coins I paid for him. Uh, sorry, I packed him actually. Definitely worth the 70 to 80,000 coins he is going for at the moment. And if you guys do have the coins, I would recommend him. Basically, that rock in your midfield. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Toxic here, and I'm out of here, guys. See ya. Peace.